G'day guys, this is Matt here, and today we're going to be speaking about how to add a profanity filter to your Office 365 tenant. And what's that? Profanity filter checks for uh, swear words and inappropriate language within Outlook, OneDrive, and Teams. It's going to be very handy if you roll this out uh, in your Office 365 education tenant. Gives you the ability to warn users if something was said or done, and also you have many, many reporting options on this as well. So let's get to it. Okay guys, welcome back. What we're going to do now is go into the compliance section of 365. First up, and this is where we're going to go and add this profanity filter. But before we begin, we've got to add a data classification. And that means we've got to add in the keywords for this profanity filter. And that's under here called data classification. We click on that. Then it's a sensitivity info type. And that's what we want to create today. So what we're going to do now is wait for it to load. And as you can see, there's a massive list here that Microsoft have already generated regarding um, financial and medical records, which we'll go through in another video. But for today, we're going to create an info type here, waiting for it to load. And what we're going to do now is um, name it profanity. And we're going to call it profanity filter. And the description is profanity filter. What we want to do now is add an element. What we're going to do is actually add the keyword element. And this is where we type in our profanity keywords. Obviously, there's many out there in, in the uh, in the wide world web. But today, what we're going to do now is just put in a few ourselves. We're going to use bad, silly, and hate. And you can just do it by comma separated there as well. We're going to leave our confidence level at 60%. And basically, it's basically about pattern matching. And we're looking at about 300 characters for character proximity. We go next and we go finish. So we've created that sensitivity label. Now we need to go into and create the DLP, the data loss prevention type. Okay guys, so we've created our sensitivity info type now. What we need to do is create the data loss prevention policy for that profanity filter. What we're going to do now, click create policy we're going to use the custom policy section. And as you can see here, the financial, medical and privacy one, there are more policies, but I'll go through that in a later video. So we'll click next. I'm going to call the custom policy, policy profanity filter rule and one. And we're also going to do the same thing here. We're going to call it rule one and go next. So we're going to choose a location for that policy to be applied. So when we got to scan for those profanity words, and due to the education tenant, I, I suggest we should look at adding it to the Exchange, SharePoint, OneDrive, and Teams chats and channel messages. It just adds an extra layer of security as well, so you can oversee what's being sent and, and typed. So I suggest all of them here. Go next. What we need to do now is create the, the advanced DLP rules, which we'll go next again. I'm going to create the rule here. And once again, we are just got to call it the profanity rule filter, number one. And what we're going to do is add the condition which is here. We're going to add the sensitivity info type and search for profanity. And we we'll search for that one there, which you can see. We click on that one, hit add. Then what we're going to do now is actually enable user notifications. I've recently done this and it's actually quite good so that if the user does something, they'll get notified of what's happening. So notify the user. And what we do now is hit save. And we go next. And we don't need to test it because I've tested it before. You can turn it on straight away or you can test it if you like, but I'm going to turn it on straight away and go next. And there we go. We're going to submit it right now. And it's just creating that new policy. And what this will do, this will create the policy and start um, sort of scanning uh, Outlook and OneDrive from when it's created. So now from now on, anything that's typed or written or whatever will, become, will get um, scanned and added to that report and the students and staff will get notified as well of what's happening. Okay, so what I've done now is I've actually logged in as a teacher. And as you can see here in the chat to myself, um, to another teacher, I'm typing in the word silly or bad. And as you can see here, it pops up this message has been flagged. So what that means, it's been flagged to the admin to say there was some, there was the profanity spoken or typed, which was silly and bad. And just to show you it live, I'm going to do uh, it one more time. This is silly. What? am I doing? When I hit enter, it takes about probably 10 seconds for it to pop up for this ha to happen. As it's just doing it now, 
And as you can see there, once again, it was flagged again. So that's just an example of the Teams chat. Okay, guys, now what I'm going to do now is actually give you an example of when a message or an email is sent with using those profanity words. What we're going to do is I'm going to send an email to myself from the test teacher and call it hi there. And what I'm going to do is, once again, is hi, Matt. This is silly. Thanks test teacher and what as soon as I send this I'll get a response back from the system I've hit sent and straight away I get a information here about your message conflicts with the policy it has a profanity filter message is attached okay so this is telling us straight away that I've written something that's not right fantastic hey guys thanks so much for watching I really appreciate it have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video